having not been achieved, the bill is not passed. Falling just one vote shy of Senate approval, the Keystone XL pipeline, a political hot potato for nearly six years, was punted by lawmakers again this week. On the table. Late last week, the Republican-led House of Representatives voted in favor of the proposal that would transport Canadian oil sands bitumen to Gulf Coast refineries. Following a midterm electoral rout by the GOP, proponents were hopeful a lame duck Congress would take a cue from voters and make this the ninth time the House has passed a bill on Keystone XL, the charm. This infrastructure is absolutely essential to the economic power of the United States of America. But another lukewarm reception in the Senate Tuesday thwarted legislative attempts to circumvent presidential authority. If we want to protect our planet from devastating climate change, the vote is no on the Keystone XL pipeline, which I call extra lethal. Because it would cross an international border, jurisdiction over the $8 billion pipeline falls to the State Department and ultimately, President Obama. It is about energy, it is about jobs, it is about economic growth, and it is about national security by building a secure energy future for this country. Republican leaders vowed a return to the issue in early 2015, when the party assumes control of both houses of Congress, setting the stage for a showdown with the Oval Office. The Obama administration has stated its latest intention to weigh a pending verdict in Nebraska before moving forward. In the state of Nebraska, every single person will be here saying no. The Cornhusker state has become the epicenter of contentious debate over the controversial project. The original route would have run through the state's ecologically sensitive Sand Hills region and across a broad portion of the Ogallala Aquifer a crucial supply of irrigation and drinking water for Nebraska and a handful of other states. We're calling in the harvest of hope to the president to say, you told us to be the change, to be the citizens that tried to make a difference. We're making the difference and we expect you, not we hope, we expect you to stand with us. After revising the route, Calgary, Alberta-based TransCanada Corporation won endorsement from outgoing Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman in early 2013. But early this year, a Nebraska State District Court ruled a hastily constructed law which gave the governor authority to approve the project ran afoul of the state's constitution. Despite suggestions that plummeting oil prices could quash the economic viability of Keystone XL, TransCanada is expected to keep a watchful eye on GOP efforts in 2015.